Okay guys, welcome back to the second part of the tutorial series for the drop down menu tutorial. And obviously now we're going to get started with our CSS. So we've in the previous video, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we did all this code right here. You'll have to go watch the previous video to understand what's going on here unless you already know HTML quite a bit, you'll probably be able to pick up from here quite quickly. And now we'll go to our CSS file and uh, start doing the CSS. So the first thing we're going to do is start styling our top nav, which over here, top underscore nav. Uh, ooh, okay, top nav. Now our top nav is that one here, but what we're actually going to do is li ul oh, li hover ul now what that does is it just when we're hovering over this unordered list here it'll display it and it'll display it as a block um, and it'll be displayed above everything else that's underneath it so it's not going to be um, like underneath anything, you know, anything that's underneath it, the unordered list or will or the drop down will be floating above it. Okay, so right now we're just going to go display block. Okay, and then um, top underscore nav, and now we're just now we're styling our nav, which is that div there which is going to be whoops display block okay and position relative now this code will work in old browsers like a internet explorer 6 so if you're wondering why I'm I use that in a div instead of a nav and things like that. It works in Internet Explorer 6 if you do it this way. So um, top nav underscore ul and then we'll go margin zero pixels and padding zero pixels. So what this does is it just it takes away any any space there might be between all the um, links, and obviously this just displays them in a block and positions them relatively, which you can see if you if you've if you've followed HTML tutorials in the past you'll you'll know what they the, that does. Okay, and then um, top nav. li whoops indent that position relative float left and list style type none Okay, so what this does now, if um, we quickly just go here, run, launch in Chrome. Okay, so what we've got at the moment is we've just got our unordered list with our uh, other sub list in, inside of it. And you've got all the bullet points here. And obviously now what this does, if we save this, so click here quickly, save go back to Google Chrome, refresh, it's put them all next to each other and it's taken away the bullet points which is pretty cool that's exactly what we're going for um, and now moving along um, we need because we've we've floated it we need some way of clearing it so top underscore nav uh, UL after 
because obviously now we need to clear our our float we go content just give it some content and what full stop so what this does if you don't know it puts a full stop there well I didn't save uh, come on chrome open okay it puts a full stop at the end of our list which you know is all good but we don't want that full stop there so we're gonna go ahead and then display block just so that it's a block with everything else uh, give it a height of zero pixels clear both which we wanted to do you know because we floated now we need to clear and then visibility no is it hidden sorry hidden visibility is hidden okay so now that will hide the full stop that was there see it's gone okay and now what we do is we go uh, top nav again and then ul ul so if we go back to this this is our top nav this is the first ul ul and that is the second ul ul okay so we don't want this to be displayed so uh, what we're gonna do now is open our style tag there and then um, position absolute left zero pixels uh, width zero pixels and now we'll go take a look at this whoops zero pixels take a look at that uh, just save it um, go back to Chrome and you'll see it puts them all in a line underneath tutorial okay and that's all good but we don't want to see them we only want to see them when we hover over it so we'll go here um, with oh god I already put that in whoops <laughs> display none okay and then now that'll hide them they, they're not going to be able to we won't see them until we hover over them which we've already put the code in so now it's not there it's not there and then when we hover over it it's not there still <laughs> yeah. did I actually put that code in ah display block not blocks blocks okay and now when we go over it it's there okay so that was my mistake I just had to change the X to a C display block cool now that the functionality is in we can begin styling it to look pretty and that'll be done in the next tutorial so just practice this and then come back on the next tutorial and we'll learn how to make this look pretty so thanks for watching and see you next time